Isu FTX1. I'm going to call this firmware version 3 because there are some changes to what is advertised. I've removed the battery, you can see there, and I've got the DC power connected to my device. That's recommended. Uh, we're going to turn it off, install an SD card and format it. So on the side here, this is where the card goes. Is this way round and just open it. I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way here, and you'll see the hole just in there. Gold bit facing forward, and then it clips in. If it's stiff going in, then you've got it wrong. So that's in. Then turn the device off. Now I've done mine before. If you've never done it before, it normally comes up with a message like set up, but anyway. Press and hold the function, like so. Go to extended, just by doing the back and forward look. Extended and turn the function knob down to SD card. And then you want to format it here. So we're just going to go format, click OK. I've got no memories that I value. It formats, so it, that should make it ready for your PC to recognize the files. Go back. Actually, I just tapped the screen and it went back. And I'm gonna save something. So let's go to menu, save, new, and then enter. Just so I know it's working. You can see it's saving. And you tap the screen to go back. And then what else can we save? Go up, uh, menu, list, save. And of course you can do the opposite. Right, so we know that the card's working fine. Let's get to the PC. Now we've got our SD card in the PC. Click files at the yesu.com site. They will download just here to your downloads. Files, and you can get the instruction manual as well, and the change log. So we're just gonna hit the files here, USA firmware, and it goes up to my downloads folder here, let's click it and you'll see the files that we need just here. Double click where it says FTX USA. And these five, we're gonna drag them onto the SD card that's in my PC. So you can see the files just there in the download. There's one, two, three, four, five. The numbers are on the main is actually 1.05. The numbers on the instructions are different. If you look here, they actually say 1.0, what have they updated? No, 1.04 for the main. So some of these numbers are actually different. But anyway, advertised on the 27th of June. Gigaparts have just announced, and I'm sure others have, that there's now the SCU LA, SCU 66 separation kit, 10 foot and 5 foot versions. Uh, so that's good. We can now separate the SPA1 or the Optima version. Uh, 10 foot and yeah by 10 foot that's well worth it but anyway on the right here we've got the files we need so we go back to our yellow folder file explorer and just hit the usb drive that's it that's plugged in and you'll see it says ftx1 double click and then underneath here is where we're going to place all our firmware files and remember this is a formatted card here so we're just going to do one at a time just click them and just drag them put them underneath one two three four and we are going to have to do the bootloader first unfortunately one two three four five files there okay uh let's uh grab the, the sd card out of the pc and put it back in the radio so at the radio we turn it off remember power supply on no battery hold down the qmb vm and mmt these two qmb that's three so we go one, two, three, and it's turn on. Now I think that sort of puts it into bootload, bootloader mode. So now we turn it five times, the function knob. One, two, three, four, five. And it says far, and it's only the main we have to do. Look, it's 1.05. And on the actual thing, it, I'm sure it said 1.04, but anyway, maybe that's not. So click update. Okay, and then we're just going to wait for this to complete. Um, we're not doing the other ones here. Now, please remember, at the end of this, we are going to have to factory reset everything, so you will lose all your memories. 
So it says once complete, it will turn off and then you have to disconnect the power cord. Remember, there's no battery connected at the moment. Uh, so there you go. I actually felt safer though, to be honest, when the battery was connected, because if, if there was an interruption to power, then, and it has rebooted, if there was an interruption to power, I know the battery's still going to do it. Anyway, it's come back on, everything looks fine, I'm going to unplug as they say, I'm going to turn it off, and I'm going to disconnect the power source and just, cool, quite step, and then put it back in back in and turn back on sorry it's a bit dark back on so we know the SD card is in so we're going to press and hold function go forward and back till we see extension then go down with the function till we see SD card and go down and where it says firmware update we click done and it should find those five files. And so is it four? One, tick them all. And like I said, these numbers are different. The main is 1.05. On the instructions, it's 04. Display looks the same. DSP looks the same. On mine, it's it's got SDR as 104. On the instructions, it says 010. Anyway, we're going to click update all of them, okay? And then it just wait for it to complete. And at the end of this, we'll do the factory reset. As it goes through, it says finished on each line. And you can do all four at the same time. It sort of clicks as it moves to the next one. The green ticks are very satisfying. One more to go. Okay, that's completed nicely. So now we're just going to do the reset. So we're just going to turn it off. Push these two bottom buttons and turn on. Keep your fingers on the two bottom buttons under the VFO. Factory reset. Let's see if we can get my node in here. Enter. That's my node. And then we'll just go up on HF, see if there's anyone about. Just go up a bit there. Looking good, and you got sub and main. And we'll show you the turn that down a bit. Press and hold the F forward, forward extension, and we'll go to ver software version. You can see. 105, display 103, DSP 102, and SDR. And if we go back and go to APRS, you'll see that now there's a raft of APRS settings in there for messaging, and, and we will be setting that up. Of course, we will. Digipath, beaconing. And that's it. Thanks for Yesu. They're sorting things out. And as you can see, they've already released the fact that there's going to be a... Actually, D-level by default is probably quite good. Look, okay, that's the waterfall. Looking nice. And you've got multi-view. And of course, different display modes and now when you connect the Optima or the SPA1 at the back you get two antennas uh, uh, selections for HF. Bye for now, thanks for watching 73.